week four and it's your first of two boot camp sessions. So with boot camp, we have a mix of everything. We want quick successions of exercises. You only have one round and everything again has a different time or repetition to it. Uh, you will need your resistance band and it is going to have to be hooked around something or held by someone. As always, please do this safely. Um, but just the one round and then you're done. So first boot camp, good luck. Okay, let's get started just with an easy jog on the spot. Just a light jog to start us off. So, as I said, first boot camp, one long round, different time and reps for everything, stretch at the end, and you're out of here. Let's squat it down and give a big circle of the arms. Really, really big, big windmills here. So hopefully today, uh, just take the arms the other way. Hopefully today you're going to find some new challenges. Hopefully you're going to see the benefit of us changing things into more of a boot camp way. So we're going to put all the different exercises together. Just kick it and push it forward. And we're gonna go straight from one exercise to the other. The idea is to keep a fast pace and to really, really just switch straight from one to the other without a rest. However, especially as we are tying the band around something, pause it if you need to, and then come back when you're set up and ready to go. Back to the top. Little jogs. Final minute of your warm up, just come back to your squat and circle the arms. Change direction. Now remember, I'm also going to start trying to push you uh, to begin, back to your push and kick, begin with the higher version of the exercises. Now of course, if any ailments or injuries or conditions mean that you always need to keep to the lower option, then do. But where it's a matter of fitness, let's see if we can perhaps push it a bit more this week. And let's get going. So, one round, we are going to begin with your star jumps for one minute. Off we go. So, back to your regular star jump here. Take the feet out. Arms up. And as always, your option for your star jumps if you need it is just your tap and arm raise. Just like this. Now see, try and keep that bouncing if you can, if you're taking this option and really get that swing of the arm so you're keeping your heart rate up. And as always, you can do a little mix of the two if you need it. So do the full version here for as long as you can, bring it down if you need to, and then take it back up. You will be getting your resistance band next. You will have it under your feet. In three, two, one. Excellent. Bicep curls, 20 of them. Let's go. Take the hands up to the shoulders and back down. As always, tummy in. Shoulders are back. Make sure you're breathing and you don't want to be swinging the body on this one. Good. 
keep those elbows tucked in and if you need to bring your feet together or further apart to give yourself more or less length do but do make sure you're challenging yourself team we are halfway through your program so you need to really be pushing your boundaries last one pop the band down standing elbow to knee 30 seconds each side let's go so hand behind your head here twist your elbow across to the knee you want to make sure you're bringing your body around towards the knee and not just bending forward so please make sure you're not hunching forward from the shoulders and let's change sides that's very quick 30 seconds each go your progression here or regression is purely about speed the faster you can go the harder your work your lower option is just to slow it down really get that twist across your tummy three two one let's move on squat to curtsy squat 30 seconds so squat it take the foot behind into a curtsy and alternate sides here so see we have that momentum of going straight from one to the other shoulders are back and again you can adapt this back by slowing it down and not taking it quite as deep three two one and one minute of squat jumps let's go so bend the knees come down touch the floor jump up as high as you can remember to make sure that you're taking your butt back behind you and that you're not tilting forward by hunching the shoulders but it's that bend of the knees and tilting from the hips here is your option don't forget you can take out the jump if that's the option you need Otherwise, let's jump it up high as you can. If you can't get yourself all the way down to the floor without having to hunch over, then don't come down that far. And we're not done with your legs because we have some plie squats coming up next. In three, two, one. Well done. So feet wide come up on your toes and point the toes out so we squat down as low as you can and up now you want to keep the bum and the hips rolled under for this one and try and keep your feet your heels off the floor throughout hands are wherever suits you to balance but can you keep those heels up the whole time you'll be coming back to your resistance band in just a moment well done grab your band side pull alternate for 20 reps let's go remember to pause it if I'm moving on too quick get yourself ready come back but do please make sure you actually finish the repetitions or the time set for each exercise shoulders back and make sure you are feeling the pull on that band You will be keeping the band under your feet for your next exercise in just a moment. And well done. Shoulder press. So turn the wrist up. 20 alternating presses here. Let's go. Now we've done these before, so you know that if you can't get your arm completely straight, then just bring it up as high as you can. After this, you will be hooking your band around something, so do pause it and get yourself ready. Last one. And if you're with me now, onto your back row. 20 reps, let's go. So, pull it in and straighten. We've done these before as well, so you wanna keep the elbows back and by your side. You wanna pull the belly in.
and breathe. How are you finding this pace today? If it's a bit quick, you know what to do. We are moving on to a cardio exercise and ditching the band once you've done your 20 reps here. One more if you're with me. And agility shuffle, one minute. Let's go, make that space. And let's shuffle it and touch down. Remember you need to touch that floor to make it count. And your adaptions here, again, it's about speed. So if you need to slow it down, then you slow it down. Otherwise, fast as you can and try and find as much space as you can for this one. How are we doing team? You don't actually have that many exercises left to go, so do stay with me. I mean, we're talking minutes. You're gonna be coming down onto the floor for your push-ups in three, two, one, come on down. 20 push-ups, let's go. So knees if you can. Hey, if you felt you could get onto your toes, go for it. But if you need to pull it back, you have your box here. But please pick an option that does challenge you. And we want correct form here, bum and hips under. We don't wanna be sticking your butt back. You are turning onto your back after this last rep and let's go. You've got your U sweep leg extensions. We've been here before. Legs up, sweep it down and up, making a U with your feet. Keep your lower back locked on the floor. Keep your legs straight. And make that sweep as big as you can. You've got three exercises after this and you are done. Now if the U is too much, you can take it to a V. So you're going to bend the knees, tap the toes down and take it up, bring it down and up. A U or a V or a bit of both if you can. You are staying down for the rest of the session. Last one if you're with me. And we move on to bridge and leg raise, 15 each. So bend the knees, raise one other leg off the floor and come up and down. You want your bum and your hips up as high as you can. Put the weight into the heel that is grounded on the floor. Breathe, give the tummy and the bum a squeeze. And if that leg's a bit tired hanging up there, you could always cross it over the other knee. We want all the weight in one leg. And change sides if you're with my pace. If not, pause it and finish up. Come back when you're ready. Almost there, team. You've got one more exercise after this and you are done. One more if you're with me. And we have shoulders up bicycle legs. 30 seconds, let's go. Cycle the legs, hold the shoulder blades off the floor. Make sure you're breathing. Keep the back lock down. And if it's too much for you with your head up, you could bring your head down if you needed it. Like that hands by your side otherwise stay with me because you are about to finish up three two 
one and you're done team well done just stay where you are and hug your knees in and as always we're going to drop them to one side and your arms to the other so what I'd like you to reflect on here is that boot camp style session that we just did and how you found the difference between switching straight from one exercise to the other, mixing a cardio, then a legs, then a resistance band, then an abs, getting up, getting down, change sides. To me, that is the best way to get the most out of your workout in such a short period of time. You know, this is a 20 minute session. All the sessions designed to be quite short. So you want to get as much as you can in. So really just picking up that pace straight from one exercise to the other, I believe maximizes that time. Come back to center, take one leg straight up, flex the foot and pull it in. And then take that foot over the other knee, pull the other thigh in. Change sides, other legs straight up. Take that foot over the other knee and pull it in. Soles the feet together, drop the knees out to the side. And come on up on your knees as always. One leg forward, stretch it through. Do take the time to finish these stretches properly before you rush off to whatever is waiting for you. Come on up, open up the chest. Then just push the hands forward and stretch out the back. That's it. Bring one arm across, pull it in. Stay with me for this final minute just while we finish these stretches. Take that arm behind, pull it down. Pull the other arm across, give the shoulder a stretch. So first boot camp of week four out of the way. Pull it down. Hopefully now in the next few weeks we're really gonna take that fitness to a new level. Just stretch it to one side. And to the other. Give it a big twist side to side. And that moment where you take a deep breath in, stretch it on up, and I say, well done team for a great workout, and I'll see you next time.